hey guys how are you doing uh, so let's solve the question uh, third of the uh, by week uh, sorry weekly contest 340 uh, minimize the maximum difference of pairs so given a zero indexed integer array nums and an integer p find p pairs of indices nums such that the maximum difference among all the pairs is are, is minimized <coughs> maximum difference amongst all the pairs is minimized also ensure no index appears more than once amongst the p pairs not that a pair of elements at the index i j the difference among the pairs is nums i minus nums j okay now we uh, absolute value let us the minimum maximum difference minimum maximum difference among all p pairs fine so basically whenever you get maximum of minimum or minimum of maximum you should always think in the direction of binary search so let's say here we have 10 1 2 7 1 3 7 1 3 so let's sort this so it is 1 1 2 3 7 10 so here if p is equal to 2 is given then what we can do is we can select these two and it will give us a max difference of 1 among two because this is this has zero difference this pair has a difference of 1 and hence the maximum of these two is 1 uh, and we have to minimize that maximum right so what we do let's let's do something let's say that uh, our our minimum of maximum is some value let's say x minimum of maximum is x so if we start at this value then we check if the next value like let's say if a of i is our value then we should check if a of i plus 1 minus ai is less than equal to x if it is then we count i comma i plus 1 index as a pair which we can consider in our answer or we move i because this ai doesn't help us right so we check if ai plus 1 and ai plus 2 does and what we do with this is we count the number of pairs and if the number of pairs we are counting is greater than or equal to p then basically we make these number this this number of pairs and why are we why are we uh, doing it with the next element of because we have sort as we have sorted this after sorting this the next element will obviously be the one which is closest to the this one right so we are always taking the closest one so that is why and hence we'll keep on counting and then how will we decide this x now so basically you can search over this x why because this this x will be monotonic because let's say if x satisfies like for for if x pairs greater than or equal to p then for x plus 1 x plus 2 dot 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 any value up till infinity all will have pairs greater than or equal to p because we are checking the difference and as x increases the chance that ai plus 1 minus ai is less than or equal to x increases right because x is increasing If x is increased, like let's say if ai plus one minus ai is less than equal to one, and if ai plus one minus ai is less than equal to two, which will have a ch more chance of getting uh, like of being true, this right, the second one, and hence if if x satisfies, then x plus one obviously satisfies, and hence uh, basically what we do is we we do a binary search from l equal to mm, zero, I guess. Yeah, l equal to zero to r equal to some one e nine or I guess. Uh, and what we do is because that is the maximum difference which can be there between two numbers, and we find the mid, and we every time we check if how many pairs are there such that we can make i comma i plus one uh, as uh, uh, less than equal to mid. A i plus one minus a i is less than equal to mid. and we count the pairs and if the pairs is greater than or equal to p we have to reduce the range because great this part is obviously true if this satisfies then this part will obviously satisfy then we have to check in this part if it satisfies or not and hence it's a binary search question Hey guys, so yeah, let's discuss the solution to the approach which I just discussed. So it is basically we we take if if p equal to zero, obviously we return zero as we sort the array as I discussed because the next because the next element will be the closest one to the ith one, right? 
now we make our search for some l equal to 0 or equal to 1 e 9 and we initiate a answer variable which we will return at the last uh, while less l less than equal to r that is we are doing the binary search for mid let's say now we check if our for if how many pairs are there in which the difference between them is less than equal to mid so we count we do a count plus one or else if if j plus one and j are not uh, then we are pre check for j plus two and j plus one basically we implement the j and at the end we check if count greater than equal to p then answer equal to mid r equal to mid minus one else l equal to mid plus one so yeah that is it uh, we are decreasing our search space to r equal to mid minus one and in this case we are increasing our like basically the range length decreases but the values on which we are searching increases basically so yeah that is it count is greater than or equal to p and yeah that is it i guess you uh, understood this approach and this gives a ac uh, i'll share the code with you in the description so thank you for watching the video bye